What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Gillen and this is Chris Gillen Vlogs. Today, we're going to do a Q&A, is what we're going to do right now. See, I asked a couple people on Twitter, I actually asked all my Twitter followers for any questions they may have for me. Yours truly, Chris Gillen. I got asked by two people uh, a few questions and I also generated some questions on my computer here so I could give you guys a little bit more information. The first question we have comes from a girl named Jessica. Jessica Holly. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Her username is at G3ORDIEETUBE -E -E underscore HD. So it's a uh, Gordy Tube. Spell wrong. All right, the first question is why did you decide to do YouTube? Simple. Eight years ago, I uploaded to YouTube and I completely forgot about it. I reestablished my YouTube. Um, because I figured this was an outlet. This was a easy, well, not easy, this is a platform for me to get out, be myself. Now, I have three kids. I don't go on the town drinking. I don't go out and go crazy. I sit here, I talk to a little square box subscribers. I actually talk to a camera, and uh, your guys' feedback this last week has been amazing. So, why I officially started YouTube was because of the outlet, the passion, the motivation I had. Um, I was watching a few other YouTubers. Um, yes, I watched Logan Paul. I still do. He has made a lot of changes according uh, to the internet. He has messed up a few times, but bygones be bygones. So we're not going to get into that. Um, I love the fact that I can come in here and talk about just about anything. I can create whatever I want to. My kids love the Kid Chef series. They love cooking most of the time. Second question. Uh, it's also from Jessica. What would you be doing if you never started YouTube? The exact same thing, a little bit more depressed, not have my phone go off as many times as it does. So, um, the reason why my phone goes off is because I really started to advance my Twitter. Um, I also get comments, likes, notifications, and everything like that, new subscribers to my phone. So everything goes off. I love each and every single one of you guys. Um, I stopped looking at the numbers once I hit 1,000. Every single day, that number continues to grow. I absolutely love you guys, 100%. Um, where I would be is exactly the same place, 100%, guaranteed doing exactly the same thing because a few months ago I took three months off and I didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't post, I didn't upload, I didn't record, I didn't do anything. I love this as an outlet. I love this, period. Last question she asked is how has YouTube changed your life and as you as a person? YouTube changed my life because it lets me see other people's lives. I can get on YouTube at any given moment about anything I need help with. If I want to know how to turn this Mountain Dew bottle into a car, I can go to YouTube and say, how to turn a YouTube bottle, a Mountain Dew bottle into a car. Also guys, if you didn't know, my daughter was sick with the flu and now my throat is scratchy. Not good. How has it changed my life? <clears throat> YouTube has changed my life for many reasons. I have met people internationally. Fuzzball. I have met people internationally. I did a podcast with Taz out of Canada. I have talked to people in Essex. I've talked to people in London. I've talked to people just about everywhere. And these connections would have never been possible if it wasn't for this platform right here. My enthusiasm, my passion, and my drive. This is all I do outside of my family. If you guys watched my video this morning, I was gonna post it yesterday, but the servers were down. Leave me alone. If you guys watch the video, you see a day in the life of me. I wake up at 6.30 every day. I'm out of the house no later than 7.15. I take two kids to school. The third kid comes with me on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Typically, I would go to the gym, put her in the daycare for 45 minutes to an hour, work out, take her with me, and then our friend Savannah comes and gets her and she watches her for an hour and a half because Jesse has school Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I work all the way I, I go all the way until now. Right now it is 10, 17 at night. Two of my kids are asleep. I'm pretty sure my other one, the little one, is watching TV in her room. It gives me enough time to come out here, record a little bit, and be done. It's changed my life because it gives me a better outlook on things. I have a goal to not only grow this channel, but to give you guys entertainment, content. This is who I am. This is me. This is the real me. It always has been. There are days where I am a jerk. There are days I run my mouth and people know what I'm talking about. But most of the time, this is, this is who I really am. I'm outgoing, fun, energetic. I love 
the, the platform I can have to make a difference in someone's life. And to be honest, in the last two weeks, ever since YouTube came out with their new rules, I have met people, I have changed the way that they do their channels. I, somebody didn't have a Twitter, Eternal didn't have a Twitter yesterday, and now he does. Just so he could help grow his channel. Do some of these people that we talked to the last couple weeks have the same passion as me? Absolutely not, I don't believe they do. But this is, this is my, my passion. Jessica, I hope I answered all your questions. JJ, um, okay, he's got a long number here, so. JJ, it's at JJ37149436. He said, if you could go anywhere in the world, would you pick hot area or cold area to go? Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, I would go somewhere hot. I've lived in Nebraska most of my life until 2012 when I moved down here to Tennessee. And as cold as it can get, you can keep putting layers on, putting layers on, putting layers on. I'm tired of it being cold. I want it to be hot. I want to be able to go sit on a beach in a pair of shorts with no shoes on and just watch the waves crash. We go to Carolina Beach every single year and if you look back far enough, you'll see it. We went there multiple times last year and we're planning on going this year too. We're also going somewhere else, but that's, you know, not really a paradise. That's my paradise, but it's not paradise. Um, definitely 100% a hot weather environment, not so hot, like I've been in Afghanistan, that place is not somewhere I recommend. Now, if I wanna go live in Carolina, like North Carolina and Carolina Beach or Curry Beach, absolutely. But these next questions are coming from the random question generator. It says, what is the last thing you created? Uh, the vlog did, a day in the life of me did. What do your clothes say about you? Um, what is your going to bed routine? I take a shower, well, hold on. I get all the kids to sleep, I record, I edit, I take a shower, I get in bed. Done and done. Oh yeah, and breath. More questions, more questions, more questions. Who around you has the worst of luck? Me. <laughs> Everything happens to every single person, or Emma, she got the flu, she bonked her head, she's just had a bad week. But my saying is, it's always something. That's gonna go on my grave soon, uh, my tombstone. It's always something, something always happens where I can go 18 steps forward and three billion steps back. Like January, it was the longest year of my life. Do you have any tattoos? Yep, sure do. Look a few videos back. What is the funniest thing you'll fill a pinata with? Tide Pods. <laughs> what toppings would you have on a hot dog? Or what are your favorite toppings to have on a hot dog? My hot, okay, the best hot dog I've ever had in my entire life consisted of a normal bun with some poppy seed. A Nathan's hot dog, you owe me money. It was called a buffalo dog. It consisted of a Nathan's hot dog with buffalo sauce, fried onions, a couple jalapeno peppers, well no, the hot peppers. They weren't jalapenos, I think they were just peppers. Some blue cheese across the top and more buffalo sauce on the top. I'm starving right now for that hot dog. What conspiracy theory do you actually believe? Brad, if you're watching this, this one is gonna be for you. Okay, this one's gonna be kind of controversial. Issue, what conspiracy theory do you actually believe? I believe there are some questions about um, what happened in Vegas a few months ago. We still don't have all the answers. It's taking a long time, and there's video footage, and we don't have any of it. But when there's other video footage, it comes out immediately. This video footage hasn't come out yet, if it exists. Questionable, conspiracy, I think so, yes. Um, I have questions about 9-11. I don't know how buildings, not, not, even if we forget the towers, if we forget everything else, not forget, but just for the conversational purposes, <laughs> the other building that fell all by itself, building 10, it fell all by itself, and I don't understand how a steel building can fall because of a fire. Don't hate me in the comments. I'm just answering a question. Calm down. What three activities would you rate a 10 out of 10 would do again? Um, I would definitely 100% go to the beach again, 100%. I would definitely go to Disney again, 100%. And number three, I would definitely have kids again. Now, I say have kids again, I have three. I've already done that, I'm not having no more. So I'm not gonna have any more kids, but if I had to do everything over again, I would definitely have my kids again.
All right, guys, I think that's all the questions I have time for tonight. I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna probably get this edited tonight, maybe. If not, don't kill me. It's gonna happen tomorrow morning, I don't know. Tomorrow is my daughter's fifth birthday. So please like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, join this family. Hit the like button, give me a big thumbs up. Turn the bell on, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this channel. Please don't sub for sub. Watch the content, enjoy the content, get to know the people. Have a good one, take care guys.